welcome to the gaming 4 today in this unturned map editor tutorial I'll be showing you guys some of the most useful hotkey combinations that this editor has available and how to uh, mass select and delete objects now guys both of these uh, video ideas were suggested by other viewers so if you've got something that you really want us to make a video about please suggest it in the comments or even better there's a discussion page for our channel that can be found on the home page so yeah that'd be a better spot to suggest the videos as well just because it'll be easier to keep track of them all alright so let's get started so first of all there's some classic uh, hotkeys that are pretty much universal um, you're mostly going to use them in the object editor but these are the copy and paste hotkeys and it's actually a key combination it's just not just one key so to copy something you press control C okay to paste it you press control V now if you just initially do that to an object it's not gonna seem like anything is different but all you have to do is move it away and then you can see you've had two of them okay and this was originally just one guys I'm not tricking you or anything so see how it's one I'm gonna Control C and Control V that again, copy and paste, and now I got another. Okay? So, that's pretty simple. Control C and Control V. Now, let's say you've got this um, apartment here and you accidentally delete it. And guys, deleting things is not backsp. Oh, it is backspace, but it's also the delete key. Either delete or backspace will both work. So, let's say I accidentally deleted it what do I do I need that back well you press control Z which is almost in all programs like in most computers except for Macs it's like um, control something there, there's like another key you press but it's it's still control Z pretty much so yeah control Z that is the undo function now let's see what else so okay we got the E the E function whenever you're placing an item down for this object editor you press the E button that is if it's selected like an airport tower or a building or something you press E now you can also press E if you want to just relocate something like this building so we select the building and we put our cursor where we want it to go and we press E and it'll move it there and this is the same for pretty much anything I think even these spawns you can do that and guys I've gone over all this information so far in the objects video so if you want more detail about that please check out the ob uh, objects video because you'll learn other stuff besides the key combinations as well now this E can also be used when working with roads right now this is a highway zero it has the yellow line there, it's just hard to see because this white line is covering it up. But anyway, the E works with the highway as well. So you select a node that you want to be maybe a little smoother, see how it's really straight there. You can make it like that and it'll move that node and you won't see the effects of it till you rebake it. So that's an important thing to remember. So as you can see, it's moved the road over. Now, as you can see, this is a really sharp turn this brings us to another important key combination for the roads and that is W W splits the node that you were previously selecting and to see the effects of that you just have to bake the roads again and as you can see it really smoothed out that curve so let's say I want to make a curve right in here and I'm just roughly outlining it and I just want to make like a 90 degree bend even though that's not realistic you know I don't know what I was thinking but I'm just gonna bake that and as you can see it looks freaking terrible well guys this is actually a good way to start because what you can do afterwards is you can select that center node press W select those two and press W on those and now when you break the road it'll be much smoother and actually it's a good way of doing it because you now have the beginning and the end in a really even curve see it's really really uniform and guys you can do this like a ton you can like detail this so much and each time you do it it'll make it better same with this curve right here if you do it, it eventually the curve will just be very smooth now it might be too tight 
Like, this is very tight. But maybe if you do it enough for this, it'll eventually even fix that as well. Yeah, it pretty much, it, it pretty much fixed it. So, okay. So, guys, let's say you've got this big road, right? And you want to delete it. Well, it would really suck since you've made a lot of these dots to make this curves really nice to have to delete every single one. So, there's a way around that. So, instead of just pressing delete and deleting one at a time, you can press control delete. And this deletes the entire segment of the road. Now, if you want to undo that, once again, uh, control Z doesn't work. Okay? Just so you know, control Z doesn't work on everything. I think it's mostly the objects that it works on. But, guys, just a warning. That will delete the entire section. So, if you make a road that goes from down here all the way up, goes around your entire city, and goes over there, and you bake it, and you're like, oh, man, I hate this one section right here. It freaking sucks. And you control delete it. It won't just delete those around it. It'll delete all of it. So just so you're aware that it's pretty it's a pretty big delete, okay? Okay, that brings us to more deleting things. So back to objects. Now, something that I didn't know about objects until I started making the tutorial video for the objects specifically was that you could actually click and drag. This clicking and dragging is extremely useful. It allows us to select like tons within an area and just like move them all together like if you've got something set up like a house with furniture in it if you move the house the furniture will stay still but I mean if you want to just like select the whole thing and move it all this is a great way to do it it's also a great way to delete it so let's say I just want to delete it boom all gone right now we can do control Z for this as well and there's another way to select them all what you gotta do is you select one initially then you hold down shift as you click and select others and it's more of a time consuming thing but you know it can be used to it can be used with uh, more detail like let's say there's inside this house I'm gonna have to get a few items for this let's say I've got like a ton of these rakes I have no idea why and I want to delete only a couple of them well, selecting them like this is not going to be the best way because I'm going to delete more than I really want. Now, I'm actually going to move all of these out here so we can see better. That yellow lining is getting annoying. So let's see, I've got these, right? Well, there's two ways I can go about just deleting one or two of them. I can either start by selecting this one and the other one I want to delete, which let's just say is that one. As you can see, I've got those two only and I can delete them by just selecting those two. The other option I've got is um, move these back down is I can select them all and then unselect the few that I want to keep and the way you unselect is by again holding shift and clicking on them and that'll unselect them so now the only two that are deleted are the two that I want to delete. Okay guys so besides that um, there's really one other thing that can be pretty useful. Um, it's with these transform controls. Now, it's not really necessary, but these transform controls actually do have their own hotkeys. So the transform for up and down is Q. Now, it's already on Q, but to switch to rotation, the transform, uh, the hotkey is W. And so you just press W when you've got something selected, and it'll switch right to that and yeah you can switch back and forth between those two it doesn't really I mean it helps it's not super necessary though all it really does is speed up what you're doing but I mean it can be really useful alright guys so that's pretty much it um, there are other ones they're not very common or very useful though so I've covered you know the most useful ones that there are so yeah, thank you guys for watching and please like the video if you learned something or enjoyed it and please consider subscribing to our channel and definitely keep uh, suggesting videos for us to do guys. We love doing these videos because I mean you know what at some point we're going to run out of things to do 
and that's when you guys come in we just need you to uh, keep suggesting videos like for example I thought I was gonna have to do one more video till I was done this series but you guys are like well we want you to do this and do that and I'm like sweet I can continue doing this series I don't have to be done with it yet so anyway guys thank you for watching and I'll see you all later